not tell if I'm live again or not. I am live? Okay. Sorry, it's gonna be just a moment here. Because... I don't know. Yeah, I can't see crap on my desktop. Uh, Adobe's just like, yeah, I'm not gonna do anything now. So, that's shot to hell. Um, it'll take a while to fix that, probably. Let me get the trayer back up. There's my face cam. Okay, the trayer should be coming back on. I'm sorry about this. I need my stream crashed and then yeah. yeah everything else went wrong and now on my laptop, Better Twitch TV isn't loading? Oh my gosh. One of those... I was gonna say days, like... Ugh, I feel like it's been more than days. Anytime now, game. Yeah, and I apologize if I miss anything in chat right now. I'm trying to refresh to get stuff working. Yeah, okay. Apparently, Better Twitch TV has just decided to not work on my laptop right now. And the trayer is. Okay, there. Now that I was about to threaten it, it started working why I'm seeing FPS in the corner of it is beyond me. Why I'm not hearing it is also beyond me. Okay, it comes through my desktop speakers. There. Okay. Unplug and replug headphones. So yeah, flash is just failing to load. Uh, in Chrome for me right now. So I'm gonna apologize. I'm probably gonna have a very difficult time keeping up with the chat in any way, shape, or form because I'm not gonna be on my laptop, which is way over here. Usually I can just respond on it and I have my second monitor with the chat. But I'll do the best I can. So, anyway, <laughs> back to the game. And that FPS counter is gonna drive me nuts. Because I can't even think of anything I have that should be like making that appear. And I don't remember the last time I saved. So I don't know. I think whenever it does that like little uh quill and ink container thing in the corner, I think it's doing an auto save. But if you guys are still there, if you want to say something in chat so I can know my uh my laptop is still doing things right. That would be great. Also, if I knew why this was taking forever to load, that would be amazing. Oh, because it appears to be frozen. And using a crap ton of memory while it is. Try this again. What, where? Okay, I see you. And I really want to figure out... Yeah, I have no idea...
Okay, I guess that FPS counter is just gonna stay there. I don't think you guys can see it. Of course, you guys can't actually see the game right now, can you? I'm setting up on my 3DS. Good stuff. I enjoy mine. Okay, well we're back here. And we have... Okay, we still have the, the south gate. And the notes. Okay. So we didn't lose, like, anything. That's good. She moved. Why did she move? She was over here. Okay. So we're good on... <laughs> we're good on that. Nope. I don't... I don't know why you said nope. But, I don't know. 3DS is a lot of fun. Unless that's what you said nope to. I don't know if you said nope to that, but... Okay. Boom, night time. And we'll try to pick up where we were. And then when I upload this on YouTube, I will try to edit out the first part of that. Lots of sparkly stuff over there. Enemies probably respawned. What is that? It's a box. I feel like I should smack it with a knife. Whoa! It launched a demon spider thing. And I was pushing F instead of the, the melee button. Okay, so now I know to open those from a distance. Oh yeah, you can't see the- gosh. Sorry, I was just talking about that and I completely forgot them. Uh, oh, it didn't save on... Uh, okay, what happened is... OBS didn't save that scene that I had modified. So Betrayer is not on there. Whoops. Okay. Sorry. Do some of this. And chat is not loading. Okay. I guess chat's just not going to be on the screen. Okay. We'll leave it like that, I guess. And... Now you can see the game. Okay. What happened was I found a crate, and I hit it up with my knife, and one of those little spider demon things popped out. And then I was pushing F instead of E, so I was trying to open it instead of attack it. Which didn't work out that well. I mean, surprisingly enough. Crap. Thought I got the sneak on him. This guy, is that the one who spotted me? That was close. Oh, and that other guy hit me. I didn't even realize that. Okay, I've used all of my healing stuff now. Down to 12 arrows. I have not used any explosives yet. I thought there was supposed to be a barrel here. Where am I even? Like, I'm probably not even going in the right place. No, I am. I think. Maybe I'm supposed to... Yeah. Yeah, okay. This should be the road where I found the, the one crate and the barrel. Yeah. <laughs> right here. Also, the one crate and the barrel, not to be confused with the store crate and barrel. Very different. Spider demon thing. 
Oh, um, I actually have no idea about this game. <laughs> I met some kind of, like, pioneer uh, fort. I believe Fort Henry. Um, and something happened. I don't know how I got here. I just woke up on a beach. I found a woman wearing red. I have found a petrified eye, ear, and tongue, which now allows me to see and speak to evil spirits, or just spirits, they're not necessarily evil. And when I ring this bell, it takes me to this other world, which is like the normal world, but dark, and there are skeletons and stuff. And in the main world, there have been some kind of like evil Spaniard ghosts or something. Uh, so yeah, spider demon things, I have no idea. That's just what I named them, because they're kind of bug-like. And that's the second one I've seen. The first one... Unlock Dodd's Hill destination. Okay, maybe I'm not supposed to be here. But yeah, the first one was like just chilling with the skeleton, and came at me when the skeleton dead, and then that one was inside of a crate. And that is the extent of my knowledge. Uh, this morning we could find no trace of Tabitha Markley. The sentry saw no one coming or going, nor was there any sign of struggle. Even her sister, asleep in the same bed, was not roused. It can only be some foul sorcery. Maybe that's one of the people? Because, like, the girl in red is looking for her sister, apparently. And she doesn't know her own name, and she doesn't know her sister's name. And they're twins. So that might be a clue as to finding out about her sister or finding her sister. But I'm gonna go back, check out this area. I believe this line of rocks here is the boundary. This may be another exit area, possibly. Although, I mean, this isn't like... That is an entry to a different area completely, I think. I think. This, I have no idea if it's going to take me to another area at some point, or if we get a loop around and let me into this, or I don't know. Basically, I'm exploring. It's just glitter. Oh. Yeah, she should be here for another probably hour. And then she has stuff to do. Sounds like a chest. Yes. Chest is empty. So if I save the game and reload, the chests close again, but they don't restock. Yeah, I like I was saying uh, earlier about the the random game. I really, I'm I'm guessing there will be a few games that like I got at some point because I thought they were interesting looking, and I'll know a little bit about them. But most of them I have no clue, including this one. Like, I didn't really look up anything, so I just kind of jumped in. Yeah, I'm, I will try as much as I can to, you know, to recap the things that have happened while I've been streaming. What the heck is that? Okay, there's like a demon thing over there, and a skeleton attacking me. A thief escaped. What what does that even mean? What thief? What is going on? See, that's what I'm talking about. I how should I call you? Uh, yeah, I just go by blue. Occasionally blue rose, but I really just prefer blue. Short, simple, to the point. Mary Barnes and her son Edward are the latest to show signs of sickness. If Eustace Cage cannot find some remedy, the strange contagion may soon claim its 10th and 11th victims. Okay, so people are dying. Oh, that's really annoying. That achievement is off because I restarted the game. So, like, I don't know how many egg scraps I got the first time, which means I don't know, like, I might not get all of them and still get the achievement, which is going to frustrate the crap out of me. Oh, 
Okay, is this... I assume that shadowy thing I saw was the thief. Another explosive. Oh, this appears to wrap around to that hill I was just on. Maybe. And I should probably be exploring this in daytime, but there were all those big scary monsters by the gate. Oh crap. I'm pretty good with this bow. I mean, I don't want to say I'm trying to intimidate you, but I'm kind of a badass. In this video game, with this bow, I should clarify that. Yes, in real life, actually, in real life, I'm not all that bad with the bow. Or at least I wasn't. It's been quite a while since I've used one. And somebody added me to their friends list? I don't know, if that was you, Lucky, uh, let me know. I get a bunch of random people who add me. So, I usually just ignore them. And it's kind of like, I mean, if you actually know me from somewhere, you have some way of sending me a message. But, you know, I don't usually block. There have been a couple that I've blocked because, like, they've added me three or four times. And, like, I've accepted, and then they didn't say anything when I asked who they were. I don't know why I'm going on about this, so there's not really any point. Oh, and there have also been these little totem things. They're like little wood pillars with like a face carved on them. And in both the other world, which is this one, and the main, the regular world, I guess, they have like this shadowy stuff around them sometimes, and they're corrupted. And when I go near them in the other world, I get like four or five skeletons that pop up, and then I can kill the skeletons, and then they're not corrupted? I don't know the details of how that works. I've just been kind of going with it. So I'm just, I'm like, I'm throwing stuff out there that I've learned uh, as I think about. Okay, see, that time when I pushed X, I didn't get the really loud, scary voices. Or sounds, or whatever they are. I don't know, if you're listening like really hard, you can probably hear it. Maybe that's what I need to do. First of all, save and continue. I'm gonna turn up the game volume. Since my mic volume is higher. Excuse me. Okay, so there is an invisible wall right there. It's a little disappointing. I don't know, I mean, I'm kind of... I would rather that they have, like, these barriers than the invisible wall, which I guess is kind of a combination of both. You know, just in case you can accidentally get over where you're not supposed to. They had the invisible wall, so that kind of makes sense. Sorry, when I trail off, it's because I saw or heard something, or thought I saw or heard something. Journal updated. Let's see what the journal says about this. Hidden camp. A small hidden camp southwest of Fort Henry. Vanish for time without a trace. Strange Contagion, Foul Sorcery, okay, another note here, 21st April, drifted 8 hours owing to fierce winds and heavy squalls, 22nd April, the storm worsened and we drifted most of the day, high seas and constant lashing rain drowned nearly two dozen poultry in the hold and damaged sundry other supplies. 
23rd April, sighted the Rebecca before noon. She was badly damaged by the storm and will have to turn back for Plymouth. We will sail on alone. Okay, so that's related to the note we saw before. Okay, I'm gonna open this chest because this noise is driving me nuts. And it's still gonna go on because I didn't do that yet. Um, we saw a note before mentioning that there were apparently like three ships and only one of them made it, and the captain was kind of losing it, maybe? So I guess we'll see. I don't- that doesn't explain why they have another can. A musket load, okay. Dug up a Spanish sea chart showing a large section of unfamiliar coastline. That seems... Helpful? No, it doesn't. Not really. Okay, that's all it tells me about it. Notes. Okay. I will continue along the border here, I guess. There doesn't seem to be any limit on how long you can sprint, which is kind of nice. Oh, I'm over here! I seriously thought I was, like, up here. Okay, that explains a little. Crude Charm of Ferocity, which inflicts 150% melee damage and attack 5% faster. That's pretty cool. I mean, these are all crude charms, so... I'm guessing you can't get or make better ones later on. And I am wandering through the middle of nowhere right now. Another chest. Some coins. Okay, now I'm up here. There's a path. Let's just see where the path takes us. Yeah, I mean, I'm still going for another hour 15. I am getting a little curious, though, uh, what you guys think of this. If you're enjoying watching it, uh, specifically enjoying me getting the crap scared out of me for really no good reason. Or possibly very good reason. I'm That may happen. But yeah, let me know if you're enjoying this. So I can figure out, uh, this is one, like whether you guys like it or not, I will play it. But whether I play it on stream is going to be determined by if you guys like it. And if you don't, then you know I won't stream it, but I will definitely be playing this on my own. What is that? Okay, there. That that is one of the, the totems things that I said before. Uh that is corrupted. So when they get closer to it, it will first of all, let out this ungodly screech, and then spawn like four or five skeletons. In a whisper. Whoa! Wind has shifted, dispersing the sense of corruption from the area. Okay. Maybe that's because I killed enough skeletons already? That's I don't that's all I've got. Um Okay, I didn't do anything that time. So I don't know. All the other ones have spawned up skeletons around it. So let's see what the journal says. Um 
After cleansing the three pillars in the vicinity of Fort Henry, the scent of the corruption has lifted. Cleansing the corruption from the card pillars in the vicinity to clear the area, the gate will now open. Okay, so I can now go to a new area. <laughs> However, first of all, what is that? Because that's something. Second of all, I'm going to want to explore all of this area in the, least the real world, or the normal world. I lost sight of... there it is. Because I don't know it's going to be different. Where am I? Okay, I'm like at the far northern reaches right now. I feel like I should check that out before I forget about it. I'll go a little further. I wish the map did something where it would like fill it in as you explored. Game's rather creepy and back. It's not crashed your router. Ooh, that's no fun. Now, well, you missed me asking uh, what you thought of the game, and I don't know how much of me explaining stuff you thought. I found another totem, and I thought I was gonna have to fight skeletons, but this one magically, like, was cured. I don't know if it's because I killed other skeletons or what. Nathaniel Fox, killed by savages. Okay. Oh, got a note here. When the patrol did not return by dusk, I led six men into the woods to search by torchlight. Soon enough, we found Edmund Pierce... No, Edmund Percy, sorry. Clinging to a tree, eyes agape, muttering of shadows coming alive. Nearby was what remained of Jeremy Cooper, his head and arms torn off. Well, great. Now I definitely want to go investigate the shadow thing and see what it is. <sighs> so tell me the game is rather creepy, but it doesn't tell me whether you're enjoying watching me play it. Okay, it's another wraith, it looks like. I have lost my way in this darkness. The sound of the bell will lead you home. Okay, that seems like that was too easy. Okay, there's that cross. Continue its oh, saw something. It's These containers appear to have stored luxury foodstuffs brought from England. Only moldering scraps remain. Clue dug up a knife with a broken blade. The handle is carved ivory, suggesting it belonged to someone of means. Okay. I don't know. This really reminds me of the. Gosh, it was a settlement. Like a, a, a pioneer settlement. That everyone just disappeared from. Like, I mean, it was in, in the early days of, of people exploring the Americas. No, that stinks. It was in the early days of the Americas, and like the only clue they found was a name that was carved onto a post in the camp. Like, oh, Croatoa, I think, or something. For some reason, this is what that's reminding me of. And I use the phrase reminding me very loosely because I know almost nothing about that event. I mean, I, I don't think anybody really knows anything about that event. But I remember almost nothing of what I learned about that event, or of research about that event. And I'm very interested sometimes in uh, like historical mysteries and stuff.
Oh, this is what I saw before. All of the sparkly. What the hell? Okay, at least he missed me because if that stuff was just like flying past me, I would have, or was just hitting me rather, I wouldn't have known what was going on. Like I would have just been like losing health and would have been freaking out. Oh, <sighs> okay. So this appears to be a graveyard. Matthew Helliard, ship's boy, age 12, found dead along the path. Nathan Lam Lambton, murdered by a Spaniard. Edmund Percy, killed fighting the Spanish. Edward Barnes, age 6, a sweet and gentle son, died of sickness. Here lies Mary Barnes, age 24, loving wife and mother, died of sickness. Okay, so... They're the ones we read about in the note, so we know they didn't make it. Got no idea what I'm talking about. Thanks, Glitter. That's helpful. Sorry, I jumped topics so quickly that I'm not even sure what you're referring to. <laughs> Just something I really need to get better about. I don't know, the one topic I remember was whether or not you're enjoying the game. Like, if I should keep playing it on stream or not. There's another spirit thing. I haven't checked the side of the fort, so... I will explore over here for a moment. And I found a chest, so that was a good choice. Oh, and I found all treasure chests. That's good. So tell me how to write in color, I still don't know. Uh, you just type slash me, M-E, at the beginning of whatever you type. Just slash M-E, space, and then type whatever it is. I don't recall those pillars being there. That doesn't mean they weren't. I'm just saying I don't recall. Okay, let's check out this... Edmund GD's bill hasn't returned from patrol. Where did you last see him? He met by chance near Dodd's Hill. It was nearly dark. He said he'd found a Spanish encampment and showed me where it was. Who are you? Gregory Ward. Okay, so apparently I can help him out. See what all of this stuff. Urban knife and containers. Oh, I assumed he was cursing actually. Edmund Godum. My bad. Gregory Ward and the more graves. Summary of Fort Henry. Oh, okay, just all chests found. When the patrol did not turn. And I will inspect near Dodd's Hill. I'm just gonna. Okay. Sorry, I thought I saw a red thing further over. I'm gonna ring this again. Or mute it again, I guess. Why does she have to move all over the place? I remember we lived here for a time after we arrived. There were many skirmishes with the naturals in those days, until finally we made peace with them. Uh, do you think these ash figures are people who lived here? I have a gift for you. Or leave. What gift do I have for her? I... I guess I'll find out. I'm curious. What is it? Okay. Spanish sea shard, a necklace, 
that belonged to a dead woman. Sea chart? Why are you giving it to me? An enemy sea chart is a rare prize for the crown. It will come in handy if we manage to find a ship. I've changed my mind, it's not a worthy gift. Very well. It's very beautiful, why are you giving it to me? Because you are also very beautiful. It can be bartered, it didn't match my complexion. <laughs> I love these options. <laughs> I really want to be that person. <laughs> oh, why not? I'm sure if you're being too hard on yourself, it would look lovely on you. Okay. <laughs> Are you still helping your wraith friends? Do you think these astrogers are which Ash figures? Have you not seen figures of Ash that look like people? Well, I just destroyed them all, so she probably hasn't. Are you trying to scare me? That sounds horribly unsettling, but I've seen no such thing. That's because I destroyed them all. Where could my sister be? Okay, so she doesn't have anything else to say. So yeah, this is the real world. Or the normal world, I guess. And then I can ring a bell, and then it's this way. I'm actually gonna... Okay. So it's just an instant thing, that's kinda nice. I guess I'll find, I think it's... Oh, it made like a little lean-to on the map, it looks like. Where the, where I found the thing. That's really cool. I like that. I have a feeling there's going to be something here, now. Possibly something bad, that wants to harm me. heard something. And this path just kind of disappeared. I think it was more this way. They did a great job making the sounds of this as unsettling as possible. Oh! I guess we'll dig up the thing first. Dug up a finely made reed flute. The remains of a soldier are partly buried in the loose soil. The cause of death is not obvious. All clues found. Okay. Victim unknown causes. Well, that's comforting. People are just like dropping like flies around here. No, you're fine, Lucky. I, mean, I should be like right next to this encampment. Seriously, like every time they do that, they just like hit that drum really low. I freak out. Oh, and I'm going the wrong way. What the hell? You! He escaped. But I should be like right on top of the settlement. Or camp, I guess. I don't know what I have to do with the thief. Like, if I'm supposed to shoot him with my bow or what? Because clearly chasing him doesn't work. And I'm not seeing this, this camp. Honestly, I thought it was over farther. They definitely said near Dodds Hill. And it's like on the map right there. Okay, Lucky. I will be here. 
and glitter will be kind of here. I don't know where this is. Like, on my map, that definitely looks like a couple of lean-tos. But then, I don't see anything. definitely makes sense, like, that that would be it, because they said by Dodd's Hill. I don't know, I guess it could be something over here. Let's go back to Dodd's Hill. Try over this way. I'm pretty sure I already explored around this side, but... I also like it doesn't tell you exactly where you are on the map. It's like, you are in this circle. You are approximately kind of here-ish. This is that hill that I keep going up on top of because I think the camp is there. Oh, here we go. I mean, I've already been here, so... Apparently I don't get anything special. I don't know, let's go back to Fort Henry. And talk to the spirit again. Wait, didn't they get that in a different spot? No, I did find that in that area by Reed's Hill. We organize this replay. I remember thinking how sad it would be here without Edmund's music. An Indian gave him that flute after hearing him play. I found it near the remains of a man who had been killed near the encampment. And that's why he never came back. Okay, so I know how somebody else died. And I know who that is. I wish you would just stay in one place. Never felt comfortable in this place. I wonder if something terrible happened here. Everybody's gone. And I'm seeing things. I feel like that's pretty conclusive evidence that something terrible happened. Oh yeah, I forgot I unlocked the, the gate down here. I do want to explore this place in daylight though, see what I find. Or at least go over to the, the camp. I have no idea what the deal is with that thief. Mm 
hear nothing else in, this, in the light. So apparently the hearing thing works better in the dark? Oh. Yep, I am- Oh, he has a gun. Crap. And I totally just pulled aggro from that. Skeleton that is... There he is. I don't know, I'm saying skeleton, but these are not skeletons. They're some kind of Spaniards. Some some kind of Spaniards. How many kinds of Spaniards are there? Oh, broken musket. Working musket would have been very nice. Go ahead and get rid of that for some money. There's another one over there. I'm hoping I'm not going to run into one right over this hill. That would be bad. Oh, no. I'm going to run into two over this hill. Three. Three. My bad. My bad. Three of them. Are you kidding me? And that pulled, yep, all three of them. And that one has a gun. Yo. Uncrouch so I can actually move. I did not. Oh crap, I'm gonna die. I am totally gonna die. I don't know if I can get up this hill and get to the water thing, I might have a chance. I'm guessing it's switching. No, I still have. Okay, took out one. Took out another. Reload, reload. And he killed me. Okay, so now we find out what happens when I die. So it's everything going white. Each time you fall in battle, enemies return to the area but maybe in different locations. For an additional challenge, you can enable the drop loot option, which will cause you to drop your loot and scrap scrapped items when you die. If you die again before retrieving them, they will be lost forever. The patient is able to show me as an X on the compass. Okay, I'm feeling like this would be a good time to upgrade my bow. Another 10 damage and lower deflect chance. Yeah, that seems like a good choice. And I will get rid of this one. Okay. Actually, I wonder if stuff's still free, I should probably... I get a couple more pistol loads. Okay, and go back to the hill. Can't carry more of this ammo type. Worn musket, but a musket that works, so that's good. Seems like I've got some gold doubloons. A broken musket. Okay, there's some more arrows and stuff. So it said they'll return to the area. 
I'm guessing like the area where they were originally. So let's see if there's still three over here or if there's just I think one. I think I killed all but one. Yes, there's just Oh no. One, two, three over there. So they are all back. <laughs> Single hit. That's what I'm talking about. But I didn't draw that one this time. Oh yeah. Yeah. Sniping like a boss. Come back, still trolled by your 3DS. That sucks, dude. I wish I had some kind of advice for you. Oh, two of them. I didn't even see that guy. Probably end up pulling both here. Oh, or not. Oh man, these headshots are real. Last bead, value one. That's not all that helpful. Another glass bead. Which remarkably is as unhelpful as the first one. Broken bow. Okay, so I have a worn musket, 85 fair slow 10, and 75 fair slow 10. Okay, so get rid of the rusty. The rusty musket. And so now I have a bow, a pistol, and a musket. Which I'm actually going to rearrange so I have long, medium, and short range. Is it me or everything? Ooh! Um. Sorry, I just looked at the stream. I'm seeing the same thing too. Like, on my OBS and on my game, it's clear, but the stream is not looking great. And I'm gonna refresh. I don't know, I'll keep an eye on it and see if it gets better. If not, I may just end up stopping a little bit early. Okay, so there's nothing at this encampment during the during the day. Oh my gosh, that is pretty bad. Early grayscale wonky colors. And the grayscale is part of the game, but it's fine now for you, glitter. No, the, the grayscale is supposed to be that way, really. Actually, go back to the hill and then go down to the gate. If I can take out the enemies there. Okay, everything's loaded. Came is really bad when you look forward. I don't know. The game's probably blurred. Like, if my cam is blurred, when I'm looking forward, like, it's probably blurred. Otherwise, you just can't tell as much. And I don't really know what all I can do about that right now. I mean, theoretically restart the stream. Yeah, I can see it's... And it's the game, too, what I'm looking at. My face is blurred like crazy, and the game is blurred. And that's not something I can do anything about, really. Oh crap, they saw me. Am I not doing damage to him?
There we go. Broken bill. Yeah, I think if this doesn't clear up, I'm probably just going to end early because I don't think I can do anything about that, and I'm guessing it's probably not a, that enjoyable to watch a big blur that you can't really tell what's going on. <laughs> yes, the second viewer. Okay. So, there's no way I'm just going to draw one of them. I'm going to draw that big guy. Can try to headshot maybe one of the others. Okay, there we go. That's helpful. Oh, and there was a, another guy up there that I didn't see. Whoa! Okay, that guy just picks up rocks and chucks them at me, apparently. What the? Where did you even come from, dude? Oh. <laughs> okay. The guy just came up behind me. I feel like that could be taken very badly. Well, crap. I don't know how one just spawned in behind me, but that sucks. Try this again. Actually, maybe, maybe saving would be a good idea. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. That did not sound like some kind of ghostly Spaniard to me. That sounded like a bear. Oh, there are two over here that I... Nope, there's a third one. He thought he was all sneaky and crap. He's like, nah, I'm gonna hide over here. He totally won't see me. And then I will kill him. And I'm just like, nah, I saw you now. So that's not gonna happen. Oh, come on, really? And now there's arc up on the arrows? Oh, nice headshot. Yes, I am patting myself on the back for that. Nope. Gold the balloon. can't carry any more of this ammo, ammo type, so he had either musket or pistol. Okay. 12 out of 16 arrows, which I think is what I had when I left the, the fort up there. I'm hoping to pick up some more of mine down here. Oh, come on, they saw me from that distance. Those ridiculously overpowered deflections. Oh, he waits. Like, I'm expecting him to just, like, pick up a rock and chuck it. Where did that... It was the guy on the hill. I'm really bad at keeping track of all of them. There's like... It looks like three, and then there's like seven. Are you sure it's set to WPA and not WPA2? Lucky? Because I know there's the WPA and WPA2. 
I don't remember if those settings are both on the 3DS, but I'm quite sure that they exist. Okay, buy some more ammo. Go back here. <laughs> Try this again. Okay, these guys didn't respawn. At least as far as I can see. There's one. Really? They seem like they're getting deflected a lot more than they should be. Like, I think it's a 15% chance of deflection. And this is just like, deflect, deflect, deflect. Is there, did I kill them? Okay. Apparently I got them. I'm gonna try to pick up some of these arrows. Which, if you haven't figured out, there, the little triangle at the bottom of the compass up there is directing me to arrows and chests and items on the ground and whatnot. I don't know. I mean, I'm guessing you've Googled. So, I don't know what else to tell you. Oh wow, I just refilled my arrows, plus some extra ones that I can't pick up. Okay. And I got a glass bead. Okay, somehow that didn't pull the big guy. So I'm gonna go back here and grab some more arrows. Okay. Got longbow arrows again. The stream, no, that stream is still blurred as crap. I don't know what's going on, like, I'm fairly confident that's not something from my end. Okay, wind is blowing so I can move silently. That is one thing, I have been just, like, rushing into this instead of waiting. There's a mechanic in the game that I really like where when the wind is blowing, the enemies can't hear you. I mean, in addition to stout, if you're crouching versus standing, and if you're not moving versus moving. Okay, one-shotted. Oh, it actually draws them over there. They don't know where I am right now. Oh, this is amazing. Okay. Now he knows. Oh, yeah. That south gate is so unlocked, you don't even know. Oh, yeah. I have to bail if it's saying to become play. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Burly, have fun. Out of curiosity, let me know what server you're on sometime. 
because I've been intending to not get sucked back into it, which means I probably will at some point. And I have full arrows again. And a new area to explore. Oh, dang. I thought that was my world map. No. This, this is my world map. I have explored these. I don't know why. Apparently I haven't dug up everything on the coastal path. Maybe? I don't know, I never looked at this map before when I just had partial stuff there. Okay. So this game is a lot bigger than I thought. Alright. Still not working, Lucky? Okay. Something sparkly up there. Got a box here. Box with ammo that I can't take. Some kind of a guard tower up there. The Waroan grew frantic when he realized where Captain Harper proposed to lead his expedition, saying he must never venture into that forest lest we disturb the evil that slumbers there. The captain tried to offer reassurance that we would tread lightly, but the Waroan rose up in wrath and swore to leave none of us alive should we defy him in this matter. Okay, Glitter. Have fun. Got a grave here. Mary Shortridge, age 28, succumbed to sickness. Okay. Oh! And then these guys just come out of basically nowhere. Silver necklace, that's exciting. I like the stages with the, the pistol and the musket and how if you stop part way through it'll uh it'll pick up like at the next step. That's a cool feature. I don't know how he didn't see me. Really? There we go. Oh, two of them. Hopefully just two. Another ash figure. Yeah, another one. Unlocked hilltop camp destination, okay. So I believe that does mean that is the last one. Broken longbow. Let's see what he's got here. Broken musket. 
another creepy figure. I'm just gonna say that, that destroying these is putting them to rest because they unnerve me a lot. <laughs> Okay, some coins. You are put to rest. With Benedict Harper's expedition party, now long overdue and presumed killed by savage treachery, treachery, he warned them, that's not treachery, the council has chosen to make James Markley's conditional government governorship permanent. The council asks that you show him all respect and courtesy due to the Lord Governor of this colony. Dear Sir and Madame, I have acquired several new items that may be of modest interest. I humbly submit them for your consideration. As you know I happily accept barter as well as coin. Ooh, crossbow. And a common short bow. Quality musket. Short bow arrows, crossbow bolts. Okay. So lots of stuff. None of which I really need right now. And there's something over here that is whining. It might have been the bucket. Nope. There's a scrap on the ground. This morning we observed two savages observing us from the adjacent hill for more than two hours. They made no effort to conceal themselves and seemed very relaxed and curious. Samuel Mallard remarked that if we could see two of them, there must be another dozen hidden. Interesting thought. I feel like that's basically how it's been with the Spaniard ghost skeleton things. Oh, there's two of them. And then next thing I know, there's like 15. Okay, presumed dead. Father of Tabitha Markley. Respect and courtesy. It's a very interesting way of storytelling. Especially considering that you can actually miss parts of the story. In theory. Oh gosh, I haven't even... Shh. I have all of this I can explore. Okay, I just heard what sounded like a voice, and then what sounded like a heartbeat. Like, I, I don't know what their purpose is with this stuff, but like, if they're trying to freak me out, they're succeeding super, super well. Oh, there's something. That one doesn't really look like a Spaniard. And he's running away. And then running back. Okay, I got a short bow. And get some arrows and stuff. Okay, these are short bow arrows. These are not long bow arrows, which is what I'm short of. <laughs> I'm short of long bow arrows, but not short of short bow arrows. Got to say, the no rather crashes again. <sighs> that does seem to be how it goes. Okay, so I don't know. Those are definitely not, not Spaniards. They may be the uh, 
the naturals, as they have been calling them. Unfortunately, the naturals do not seem to have a lot of red on them, so they're a lot harder to see. And I cannot jump up that rock. Okay, there's something over here. Something to dig up and uh, something to examine. Atop this makeshift table, you find a single black pearl of modest size and quality. Dug up a grimy playing card. This a king of diamonds. Oh, there's another thing. Dug up a plain leather coin pouch. It contains several coins. Oh, there's the note. Okay. My dreams are often troubled of late by the panic of drowning, not in water, but in lonely soil. Close my mouth so that I cannot scream. Well, that's disturbing. Gosh. There's a flag. Okay, it should be to this fort looking thing. I guess I will go check it out. Got another explosive, which I've yet to use any of. I'm pretty sure I just heard something growl. Oh. Okay, that's a very foreboding sound. Thus far, whatever it is is trapped in there. What the heck is that? Oh, it's crap. That's another one of the giant ones. Where'd that little one go? Ah! And I'm stuck on a rock, and they're going to kick my butt. And I'm stuck right here. Like, I couldn't get up. <sighs> oh, dude. <laughs> okay. Yeah, don't try not to do the caps lock thing. I'm glad you got it to work, though. And on that death, I think I'm going to save and probably be done. Yeah, and take a moment to see. Well, <laughs> I was gonna say possibly do a raid, but uh, with the way everything is acting right now, I don't think I can get away with that. Yeah, that's not happening. It's not letting me load anything. So, unfortunately, having some issues again, dropping lots of frames. Okay. I'm hoping you're able to hear me. Um, I'm just going to be done here for tonight because I cannot get my computer stuff working right. So, 
Let's make sure. Okay. Um, sorry, losing my train of thought. Yeah, I'm just gonna call here for tonight, uh, due to the frame issues and everything else with Twitch, uh, and the fact that my computer has decided that it does not like Adobe anymore or Flash, so I have to get that figured out uh, in the next 15 minutes. So, Blue Rose Knight signing off for the night. I hope you enjoyed Betrayed, uh, or Betrayer, sorry, get the name right. That would probably be helpful. I enjoyed it. Um, probably be playing it again. Right now, I don't know what my next stream is going to be. I'm getting ready for a big move, so, I don't know. It could be in the next two or three days. It could be in, like, a week. I have no idea. Um, there will be stuff up on the Steam group as soon as I know, and I will be trying to stick with that. And once I moved, I should have a much more regular schedule. So that'll be something to look forward to. Until the next time, this is the Blue Rose Knight signing off. I hope you had a good time, and good night, everybody.